everyone i hope you're all having a lovely day so have you ever wondered how to um have it where in vignon you can actually have a channel point redeem where somebody can change your outfit or maybe uh you can have it where you personally want to change into let's say 30 different outfits via hotkey whether stream deck or just simple keyboard hotkey or how about you want to have it where vignon can automatically load your avatar without you always having to click on load avatar every time you open the program well, I'm going to be teaching you all that. So, to start off though, we're going to go into settings, node graph, and I'm going to show you my example first and foremost, um, right here. So you can see how it's set as application start, load avatar, and then there's a timer right here. Um, now, if you just want to load an avatar by default or have an avatar just load automatically, just Make sure you have avatar start node and then load avatar and that's it. But if you want to get started on having um, an outfit node going on, like where you can have a channel point redeem or something uh, where it's timed, then it's recommended you have a timer. If you want to have something like hotkeys, it'll be different. But I just wanted to at least show you my example. You can also have it as well where you can swap into a different, let's say your 2D avatar with um, the Vignon uh, spout prop thing, but I won't get into that right now. But Either way, I just wanted to show you my example real quickly, but let's go ahead and make our own from scratch. To, uh, just so that way you can better understand the breakdown more better. Um, so basically, um, to start off, let's start off with having our avatar load by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to go um, all the way to um, the callback nodes here. We're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go into application start. This means uh, when application start, that means anything, basically anything that would automatically load when the program is turned on. It could be something like... Um, you know, idle animation, like for example, on mine, I have it where there's an idle animation of my wing flapping there. So if you want to do something like idle animation, you can, whether humanoid or non-humanoid, um, which I made tutorials on how to do that for VSF Avatar in case you're curious. Um, you can also have it where like an emote dropper um, will have certain settings as well. You now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down to action notes and you're going to click on load avatar. And this is where you're going to load the avatar that you personally want to load by default. I'm going to go ahead and click on mine, uh, which will freeze my screen, but I will select um, this one. So there you go. It should have an avatar here. That way, Vignon will automatically load your avatar by default. Now, for outfits, uh, let's say we're going to make a hotkey. Uh, so that way we can have it where we can personally trigger a different avatar. Now, I will say this right now. I highly recommend please use a VSF avatar file. If you do not know what a VSF avatar is or how to make one, I have an ultimate guide on how to make one. So please check that out. I have many tutorials on my channel that you can check out to help you with your avatar stuff. But... If you want more faster swapping, I recommend VSF Avatar. If you want to stick with VRM, that is perfectly fine. It is up to you. But either way, what we're going to do is we are going to set up a hotkey. So we're going to go into callback nodes and we're going to set a normal hotkey. Um, if you personally want to do stream deck stuff, um, I have made a tutorial on how to set up stream deck stuff with the web sockets. Um, but for your case though, you would just pretty much load web socket and then connect the outfit that you want or avatar basically. I, I wouldn't say outfit, it would just be avatar. Um, but that's if you're going to use stream deck, you can follow the other tutorial links in the description for all the resources. Um, but let's start with simple hotkey. So we have a hotkey right here and we're going to go um, back here and we're going to, um, you can either find, you know, the load avatar node here or you could just duplicate this one over here and then just change the file basically. I will say in advance, Suvido does plan on having a search function so it is going to be a bit tricky to find certain nodes, even I struggle on finding certain nodes, but um, there will be a search function that will happen in the future. But uh, we're going to click on uh, load. I'm going to swap it over to, let's say, my old avatar, for instance. Um, so let me go ahead and find that real quick. I believe it's this one. So we're going to choose that one. So it's a different one, and we can have it where it'll basically do a hotkey, basically. So let's set it to one, and if we press one, um, it should actually swap to this model. And that mall is scary and bright, but let's go ahead and, um, yeah, click on, uh, send signal. You can also have it where a hotkey could also link here as well. 
So let's say um, I have it where it's set to one to swap to the other avatar. And this is what I meant by VSF avatar is more faster. I highly recommend it. It's just more faster and it's not laggy. Um, it, both both of these models are quite unoptimized, so just keep that in mind. But then I can press on two, give it some time, and it should swap back to my main model. So that's pretty much how you could do hotkey stuff with your avatar if you want to swap avatars or even have separate avatar files with different outfits. This is more recommended, especially like if you are someone who wants to have like 30 different outfits, it's better to have them in separate files. Um, so that way you don't overstrain your model, if that makes sense. You don't want to overcrowd your model with 30 outfits and 30 hairstyles and such. So this would be recommended. Now, if by any chance you have that sort of setup where your outfits are crushed into one model, then all you really have to do in that case is make a hotkey, make a blend shape node. Or click on under action you click on blend shape find the blend shape that corresponds to your outfit toggles which they have to be registered in VR and blend shape clips if they're not please do that but you check on monitor uh, hunt down which um, which blend shape is the one that controls your outfit toggles and once you do that um, you could type the name let's say like I don't know outfit one and then you would select on and oops I accidentally press on one let me actually go ahead and swap the hotkey so it doesn't do that. <laughs> um, and then we can set this to 100 and then we can set this to 0. If by any chance you have a blend shape outfit instead, um, I would recommend if you don't know what your outfit blend shape name is and you commission somebody for it, uh, so you commission somebody to make your avatar or assemble your avatar or something like that please consult your modeler in that case or assemble model or model editor or whatever you call them um or even vtuber doctor whichever it is just um make sure you consult them about what the blend shape names are or if you have one by any chance so yeah but either way i still would recommend have separate avatars to prevent um uh, optimize you know prevent unoptimized models if that makes sense but either way I just want to at least show you the hotkey example. You can also, once again, do it with WebSockets. I have a tutorial on the WebSockets. But either way, what if we want to make it into a channel point redeem instead? So if we want to make it into a channel point, uh, what we're going to do... Now, first of all, there is an avatar swapper example node in the Vignon folder, basically. I should have a video edited here, but there should be... Um, there should be like a folder that shows you exactly, you know, the example file. So if you prefer to use a pre-existing node, then just get the one from the default Vignon example folder and it should be there already. Um, but either way, uh, what we're going to do in order to make a timer node. So we first have application and then we have load avatar here. Then we're going to create a timer here. And what we're going to do, um, what we're going to do is we're going to name this whatever we want. We can say reset outfit. That's what the name of this timer will be. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to set up a channel point. So we're going to find channel points up here on callback nodes. You name it whatever you want. You could say outfit uh, swap one, or you can call it made outfit or you can call it dragon outfit, whatever you want basically. But we'll just call this outfit in this case, just for this example, but it's up to you on how you want it named. And what we're going to do is we're going to then go into uh, load avatar here. So I gotta find it, load avatar, and you're going to basically connect it. I'm going to have it where it loads my old avatar. Um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to set up a start timer, basically. So, um, also make sure these are connected as well. Reset outfit. Uh, actually, let me... Yeah, so just making sure. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have the uh, start timer, which I believe it should be in here. Right about somewhere here it's once again I look forward to the search node uh, the search option okay so you're gonna go like it's somewhere like uh, right here under action triggers 
and it's like you gotta scroll a little bit down under like the MMD stuff and then it'll be a start timer node and you're going to put that here. You're gonna copy and paste this name here to timer right there. Now as for the milliseconds, uh, pretty much it shows that 1000 seconds equals um, 1000 milliseconds equals one second and basically uh, you could put it however you like. You can use Google uh, if you want to you know convert minutes to milliseconds if you wish um, or however you want basically. But basically uh, for my case I want to put this for 10 seconds so I'm going to put 10, 10 seconds and then put three zeros afterwards. And then we're going to connect the channel points here. And then that should pretty much, um, we, what we'll do, um, is we're going to have the channel point here. We're going to send signal. And once it's redeemed, it will take about 10 seconds for this mall, you know, because this mall will be here. And it'll be 10 seconds until it swaps back to the original one. Of course, I do have, um, and as you can see, pretty much it works. Of course, I do have a different sort of setup for the notes if you do wish to check it out. It's, um, I'll link in the description. It's sort of the example redeems I have for the water and slime. If it doesn't work, please let me know, I guess. Uh, but even then, the nodes examples I have in the description should work. But either way, um, for avatar swapping and channel point redeems, this is pretty much all you need. Um, and you can pretty much duplicate it duplicate this as many times as you want so you can have it where there's channel point then uh, a load avatar and then you would start timer basically so it's kind of like reset it um what you could do if by chance it somehow does not work for you you can just create another timer dedicated um you know just uh if it doesn't work uh you can duplicate the timer name it outfit one and just have it so that way it is um basically separate but in my experience, um, this sh the way that I have it, basically, you don't need multiple timers. That's only if it doesn't work out for you, and apparently this works. But that's just a sort of extra recommendation, something I don't recommend, but you could do, you know. Um, but of course, this is just to sort of give you an idea to, like, help you out. If you want to do avatar swapping or outfit redeems or whatever the heck, basically, with just the load avatar thing. And this is definitely really nice, though, because instead of, like... Um, cause like instead of just, um, like having just one hotkey and then you swap the avatars, it's like kind of there basically. So that's, that's pretty nice and you could basically do that. So yeah. Um, and once again, you can set up multiple different hotkeys, you can set up different channel points, however you want basically. But yeah, that pretty much should cover how to basically do avatar swapping. Of course, you could do more intense ones. Like for example, you can have it where if you do an avatar swap, it can trigger a, a random magical girl effect or something like that. There's a magical girl, uh, no, example node in Suvidrill's Discord server, which I highly recommend join Suvidrill's Discord server if you want to report bugs, ask for features, or if you want to grab some example notes to help you out get better at Binyan, you could definitely do so. But either way, I hope this tutorial helps you out on the avatar swapping. And yeah, have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!